Welcome to A Thought's Journey. My name is Farron, and I'm here to help you discover how to live the life you want to live. Whether it be gardening and preserving food, business, or your life, I offer simple strategies and quality homemade products to help you thrive. Welcome back to A Thought's Journey. I'm so happy you decided to listen today. Today we're gonna talk about limiting beliefs and I'm gonna really show you how to understand when you're up against limiting beliefs and how you can begin to act against them. And we're gonna start out with one of my journal entries actually that I wrote that I felt when writing this post that would really um, outline how I thought about my life and my experience and my hope is that while listening to this you'll begin to relate to my story and the things that I did to begin changing my mind and my outlook on life and really understand how to uh, apply it to yours so let's begin I have what feels like no extra money and no way to make my life any better I've learned to listen to myself but I can't seem to physically move This is the ultimate frustration, learning to listen, but not not able to act, looking forward and not seeing better days. And I wrote this when I was really beginning to start my business again. I've been blogging for 10 years. I I had had several blogs, even some blogs that had um, upwards of 10 writers on them. I mean, I'd really met a level of success, but I always felt it wasn't the time to start it and something always happened that made me stop at the time and so when I felt in 2022 that hey this is the time to really begin doing this again and doing it for real and doing it well all of those limiting beliefs that I had had about my life and my business and my abilities crept up again And some of the things I was thinking was, how do I begin to even know what my audience wants anymore? Again, it had been several years since I even touched my blog. Um, I thought I'm not going to be able to make any money, that I needed a lot of time to gain an audience. Nobody was going to pay for what I have and what I've learned to do. So I just want to backtrack a little bit. During 2020, um, I really began to dive into gardening and making my homemade products and really doing things that I unbeknownst to me, always wanted to do, but really never found a reason to begin starting. And I started making them for myself. And then I gave them to my family, you know, the overflow. But something funny started to happen once I started to make my business and start making a plan is that people started wanting my products. And I would have my family members tell their friends um, about the things that I was making. And people would message me to buy them and ask me for what my price was for for my product and I found that so amazing because I always thought well no one no one will buy what I have everybody's making butters everybody's making soaps everybody's making lotions like nobody cares what I have to do and and then I found that people were willing to actually buy from me and I was so surprised by that and and During that time, I learned about the many limiting beliefs that I had about myself and about my life that extended way beyond my business and way beyond my, um, into my personal life. So one of the things that you need to do first is to know what's happening. Um, Like I said, I didn't know that I had limiting beliefs. I didn't know that, that these things that I thought were impossible were simply thoughts. I thought they were facts. You know, it's a fact that you need a lot of viewers to be successful. It's a fact that everybody's making soaps and butters. So why would anybody buy from you? Um, So every time I heard the negative voices, I I thought it was the first time I'd heard them because they felt so new every single time they, they rolled up. Interestingly enough, I began journaling really heavily in 2022, and I learned that the tape recorder just replays each and every time, that the voice that you think is yours, the voice that you think is a new voice, a new script is really the same one over and over and over again. So I really recommend everyone to start by writing down your thoughts, write down what's happening, read what's happening. What I did was I wrote um, the first day and I would write a couple of days. And then one day I just looked back at the past couple of days that I'd written and and see what I thought and see what I felt and, and just learn from what was actually happening. This helps you understand 
what are the things that are going on in your mind? What are the things that are stopping you from moving forward? What are your real concerns? Um, it, it just helps you identify what's going on. So from there, you're going to take an inventory of your life. What's working and what don't you like? And what do you want? When I first did this, I thought it was so dumb. I learned it from one of these, one of the YouTubers. I'll, I'll link her in the comments below. Um, she really recommended by taking an inventory of your life and writing what you like about it and what you don't like. And I thought this is so dumb. This is so pointless. When I write, it's just going to be the same thing over and over and over again. It doesn't matter that I've written it down. But what I found was when I wrote it down, I began to understand truths that I didn't even know were true. I didn't know one of them was that I was bored <laughs> in my life. And I didn't know that, that, that feeling was boredom. And I didn't know certain things that I was un unhappy with. And as I began to write, I began to really understand what I wanted because halfway down the page of describing the things that didn't work, I began describing, well, instead, I would really like this and this and this and this to happen. I would really like to buy a house that like this, this and this. And I would really like to do this, this and this. And so those steps kind of lended themselves to each other. And I really began to understand what I really wanted, what I didn't like, and it really helped me start moving in the direction of what was going to be, what my life is going to look like. One other thing that I do want to mention is that one of the things that stopped me from for so long was I was afraid to uncover what I really wanted. In my past, I've had some desires that I felt I was never going to get met. Um, if you come from a line of abuse, like I did, um, there's a lot of things that happen that shouldn't happen. And there's a lot of things that you want to be different that don't end up being different. And so what I discovered was I had lived my life in fear of uncovering what I really wanted, not let alone getting it, just, just even knowing fully what that was because I, the agony of knowing and not being able to get what you want is, is brutal. It's hard. So, um, I just want to tell you that when you begin to list this out, it's okay that you're afraid. It's okay that you don't know or feel like you don't know what you want at this time, but list what you think you want right now and don't list what you assume that you can get. List what you actually want in its raw form. Just put it out there. Now, the next thing I did was I just began listing my fears and the things that I think I can't do. And ideally, all these things kind of, once you start writing, I found that they all go into one. But one of the things that I learned was to write, as I was writing, I would have the thoughts. So I would say, I want a house. And the immediate thought was you can't because of blah, 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 blah. And instead of fighting through those thoughts, you really just need to write those thoughts down too. So there would be in my journals times where I would say, I really want a house. I want it to look this. And then you can't do that because of X, Y, Z. Then, and I want rolling hills and I want, so really it's kind of, this is the, this is the recorder that's going on in your head. This is the thing that you're up against. It'll help you tackle and really begin to work against what is being presented to you. So just write it down. Don't fight against it. Just write it down as well. One of the things that I wanted in my life was to be encouraged to keep showing up in my business and not to have to show up. Um, in my world, I learned that to be encouraged to keep going, I just need to see the path forward and how I'll achieve it. But the tape recorder that played in my head was that as a business owner and you understand more than anybody that having, um, you should be okay with not seeing immediate results. Like that is the life of a business owner sometimes. But as I began to write and understand things, I said, I was actually frustrated because every time I would start making progress on something, I would feel that I would do my part and things kept happening to kill whatever I was doing that weren't my fault and so it made me feel like well I'm not I'm just gonna stop trying and it made me feel like you know what we're just gonna keep going the way we're going we're not gonna try and I'm not even gonna begin to uncover what I actually want because it doesn't matter what I really want and I realized I held on to that still to this day but what 
I didn't realize at the time was I am now at a different place in my life. And I think so often that is the thing we need to consider in our lives is that the place that you were when failures happened before is not the place that you are now. The play, When I experienced those failures that I felt like I sh- I'm not going to do this anymore, I was in an abusive home. I was fighting to get my college education. I had had a car accident. I was hospitalized. I had gotten laid off my job. Um, the pandemic had hit. And so... I was just surviving at the time. And also I was a lot younger. And there's things you don't know when you're younger. There's a wisdom you don't have when you're younger. And I was a broke, extremely broke, poor. <laughs> so to have those same beliefs now, they they is stupid, right? Like it's it's it doesn't match my lifestyle now because now I'm not in school anymore. Now I have a better job. You know, now I'm a little older, I'm a little wiser, and I'm not in that abusive situation anymore. So my thinking is clearer, my feeling is clearer, my money is clearer. So the the variables that made the things fail last time are not the same variables that are here today. So when I really understood that, I understood that this time, all I needed to succeed was just the knowledge. And that sounds so simple. That sounds so like, duh, yeah, you just need the knowledge. But but I felt I was doomed to fail. I felt anything I would try or do, it was just gonna fail no matter what. And everybody else was more successful than me. And when I understood that, wait a minute, I have money now. And mind you, I'm not rich. I don't have a ton of money. It's not, you know, but it was enough to buy a course. It was enough to Google and and sign up for a free email list. It was enough to put together the pieces that I needed to answer the questions that I had about having my business, about having my blog, about making my products, about what I really wanted in life. I had the mental capacity now and the physical capacity to answer the questions that I had. I'm not doomed to fail. I just needed the knowledge to succeed. And when I learned that my whole outlook changed, because then I began to really ask myself those deep questions. And then you can really face those deep beliefs that you have, because you now know that those beliefs aren't true. They just pose the questions that I was too afraid to ask. So today, I really want you guys to start journaling. Just start writing what you think and the things that you feel. Take note of what's going on in your life. Take inventory about what's working and what's not working. What do you like about your life? What don't you like about it? Then write, what are the things that you want? Not what are the things that you can have? What Not what are the things that you think you want? What do you actually want? And as you're writing them, you'll notice that you'll have some fears and negative thoughts pop up. Don't fight through those. Just go ahead and note those too. It's okay to have those thoughts. What we're trying to do is to identify them. So go ahead and write them down. And then after a few days, I want you to go back and read over what you've written. And I want you to really take note of the tape recorder that is constantly playing in your head. When you understand what you want to do, you can begin to start tangibly listing out what the first steps are to do. So to help you with that, I have a couple of free guides that I'm going to leave in the description below. One is on how to set detailed goals and take the first step. The second is how to discover what you really want. So again, I'll leave those uh, links in the description below and they will be available for a limited time only. So go ahead and download your free worksheets today. I also want to talk about our community that we have open. It will be closing February 13th this month and reopening the following month. Every month we have new classes, so they close while the class is in session. This month we're going to talk about how to create a blog with clarity and to increase traffic faster. And part of that is learning how to tackle your limiting beliefs. We'll also learn how to stay motivated to consistently post, how to find your audience, how to set up your blog, how to increase traffic to your blog quickly, how to come up with a ton of ideas consistently, and how to sell without gimmick. So if you're interested in the course this month, feel free to sign up. I will leave the information in the description below. Each and every month we have new classes. So like I said, they do close um, 
every month and then it reopens at the beginning of the following month so the benefits of this is there are new classes each month you get a discount on physical products you get access to the previous courses you get worksheets templates and videos and you also have community access so that you can really discuss what we've learned so again if you're interested in this month's topic which is how to create a blog with clarity to increase traffic faster the membership will be closing on february 13 2023 again thank you guys for listening and I will see you next week. Bye.